So this week we have the rare spawn hunt, where certain enemies scattered across the universe who used to be rare spawns are now guaranteed to be in their set locations. They also so gearbox state have increased chances in dropping certain loot. Today guys, we test this. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want more. Borderlands. Also guys, I am giving away copies of Borderlands to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so the uh, spawn hunt week thingy Bob Joe is live right now. Certain enemies which are their spawns are now guaranteed to appear in their certain locations and also have increased chances of dropping legendary loot. Now on my initial video of me talking about this and this actual weekly event, it seems as though many people were not getting any increased loot drops. So I thought I would test it myself. The place I chose to test was a red jabber who had an increased chance in dropping random legendary grenade mods. I will state I did this online without any specific loot artifact or extra luck artifact to in fact see if loot drops seemed increased. So 50 runs guys of this red jabber, footage you will see in the background now. Every kill just so you guys know I ain't bullshitting yes. Ok so this is the place for increased grenade mods, legendary grenade mods according to gearbox. Now I did record every rarity I did have drop as I plan on doing another video, another 50 runs of this place with a luck artifact which supposedly gives you 10% plus extra luck. So yeah, I am definitely interested in seeing the results. So yeah the entire results are as follows, I got 2 commons, 34 uncommons, 60 rares, 22 epics and 11 legendaries, 9 of which were grenades, 2 were weapons. The grenades I got were the Fastball, Nagata, Red Queen, Moxie's Bouncing Pair, Widowmaker, Stormfront and Surge, 1 or 2 duplicates in there. Weapons I got were the Destructor Spinner and the Vengeful Damned. So out of 50 runs guys I managed to get 9 grenades, 9 legendary grenades, all of which said grenades were pretty poor. While considering my goal to at the moment are the Hex variants and the Firestorm, none of these compare. So after 50 runs what do I think? Well in my honest opinion, running the red jabber in search of that perfect hex for your build, the perfect firestorm for your build, is a complete waste of time. I 100% guarantee you guys farming elsewhere, spots like Grave Ward, spots like the offline loot tank, Traunt, Gigamind, they would all drop you way more legendaries and way more grenade mods in the same time farming here. These 50 runs took me ages people, the save point also by the way is a fast travel spot, so unless you have means of moving quicker, then it's quite a long trek to rinse and repeat this 50 times. So yeah guys, although the red jabber will 100% be there, it seems as though it still isn't worth your time trying to get that grenade mud here. Now people, I do have another video incoming where I test to see if the lock artifacts actually work and grant you increased luck. And let me tell you, the results are pretty damn crazy, so stay tuned for that guys. But yeah, just to recap, running the red jabber 50 times over only gave me 9 legendary grenade mods. In my opinion, definitely not worth it for the time and effort you would have to put in doing this. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. Now it begs the question, are there actually increased legendary loot drops with these said rare spawn bosses? I mean 9 legendary mods out of 50 runs. I mean that's pretty damn bad. But you tell me what you think down below in that comment section. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Borderlands videos be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that power button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Got it.